Outside fun is outside. Moving forward with the Decker team. Moving forward together with the Decker team. Sometimes Ken is way too profound for me. And yet we are excited that we've created for you, and we're actually honored that we've created for you over 503 episodes, free episodes that you can get on YouTube, on the Decker Team channel, or on the Double Decker Life Challenge channel on YouTube. Where That's a we challenge sh- to say that, isn't it? I know. <laughs> where we share not only insights about real estate, insider tips and making house home and growing wealth and investing, it's also about fun and just bringing more life into your life Mm. and you can get access to them from home from the office or even on the go and so today ken yeah out say what you said again because i'm confused is outside okay so i got a question for you now maybe your parents didn't do this but my parents did and 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 maybe the listeners can chime in did your parents send you outside and say, don't come back until dinner's ready, or don't come in until the street lights turn on. That was when I had to come home. So I'm I'm trying to figure out whether they didn't like me <laughs> or or they knew that outside air and playing and fun was valuable to my health. Which what? one do you think it was? Uh, I reserve comment. Well, you can comment because both my parents are passed away, so <laughs> they won't be offended. <laughs> <laughs> you might be. So it's just the <laughs> idea is how do we have fun outside our homes? Because I think a lot of times, especially in the winter, unless you're a skier, and we're going to talk about that in a few minutes in another segment about where you live and what you have access to because of where you are. But when it comes to your own home, so often I know we have found the windows are closed, the doors are closed, the air conditioning's on in the summer. And in the winter, the doors are closed because we don't want to let the heat outside. I got told that a lot as a kid. Shut the door. Are you going to let the, you're going to, what are you trying to do? Heat the outside world. I was told we were born in a barn. And I I think that's offensive, actually, because I know somebody that was born in a barn. And he's my savior. (laughs) So having fun outdoors what can we do to have enjoyment in not just in our home but in the great outdoors because there's something about good old fresh air and i think that's a lot of what your parents were saying to you the fresh air will do you good kid yeah but they didn't say that they just said get outside and play right and they didn't give me something to play with i had to make stuff up (laughs) and you know imagination inside or outside is actually probably some of the funnest stuff you can come up with Maybe that's why I got in a lot of trouble. Maybe. So what are some outdoor fun, Ken? Outdoor fun things? Yeah. Well, you bought something recently. Like you, there's outdoor toys, right? Like yeah. bocce ball is fun. Yep. What's tether it, ball. What, what's that? Yeah, tether ball. I remember that. And it's easy. You're going to need to pull a string and a ball. We had one in our backyard yes, for years for the kids. Now. And you. And me. What, what's, what's, the, is it called croquet? The thing with the little yeah, hammers on yeah, sticks and you hit yeah. the balls around the yard? Yeah. That's the strangest game ever. And lots of fun. Yeah. And it, a lot of these games, even in our city sized lots, don't take a ton of room, or maybe there's a park nearby. So the great news is in a lot of our cities is even if we can't have enough play space in our own backyard or we live in an apartment or a condo that has limited yard space. A lot of this fun can be had in a local park or connect with one of your friends that has a bigger yard space. Yeah. Do you remember when we used to just throw a ball around or a football or kick a soccer ball around just for the heck of it? Fun. Fun. Right? Trampolines. Fun. Fun and exercise. Now they get, they're much safer now. They were so dangerous before, but now they got the big net all the way around. Like you cannot fall out of that sucker. It's good. And another great fun, just sitting quiet. So not all fun has to be noisy. Sitting quiet is fun? Around a fire pit. Oh, now you're talking. But uh-huh, then, uh-huh. you know, the problem with a fire pit though, is it's extra fun when you have s'mores and roasted marshmallows. And spiders. And spiders. You might need to explain what a spider is. I think most people know what a s'more is. Right. So a spider is a hot dog and you cut the 
ends a little bit until, and then roast it so it looks like legs. So it's got eight legs. <laughs> and that's the only way I can eat a hot dog. But there's something around an all beef burger or burger hot dog put in the fire and roast until the legs are crispy that makes them really tasty. That doesn't tasty. make sense. Uh, an all beef spider. <laughs> I know. But it works. <laughs> sure, it's an all beef spider. Yeah, okay, or a veggie spider. Yeah, okay. Veggie, so what other vegetable oh, lawn spider. darts. Do you remember lawn darts? Yeah. They were semi-dangerous. Now they have like little round weights on the end instead of the darts. <laughs> the, exactly. The, the beauty with lawn darts was you could aerate your lawn at the same time. Uh-huh. And have fun. Or the good old one. You know, they, they most people just have it at the cottage. They don't have it. At home, which, oh, which is it? Come on, I saw the face. Did you recognize something? What no. do you have at the cottage? No. Uh, I was going to say badminton, but I don't mm. think that's true. I was had it in the backyard. Yeah. I'm talking horseshoe throwing. You're dating yourself, I think. People still throw horseshoes. <laughs> <laughs> What's that going to do with dating me? <laughs> and that oh. it's only at cottages. Oh, oh, it's I a think ring it toss. <laughs> it's a ring toss. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Oh, I got a fun one. Whenever our friends come over, the first thing she does is my playlist or your playlist. And we drag the Bluetooth speaker out in the backyard. Now, the only thing with that kind of fun is be cognizant of your neighbors. Because it because might not might be not, fun for they them. They might not like your fun music. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, so having a, an impromptu dance party outside can be equally as much fun as having it inside. Actually, maybe more fun. Mm. Instead of dancing with the stars, we can dance under the stars. How's that? Perfect. What else for outdoors? Oh, well, you could spend a little money and you get a hot tub or a swim spa or an in-ground pool or an above-ground pool. And that's... All summer long fun. It is. And the great news with those kinds of activities is you do it with more than one or two or three or four people. It's good for crowds and for parties and crowds that we have to crowds. watch. Not too big. But Not too know. big. But fun. So part of the fun outdoors is you don't have to do it all solo. Cross-country skiing could be fun. That's kind of a solo uh, activity. Yeah, but you gotta have a pretty big yard to do cross country. <laughs> or maybe you have access. Yard. So we'll be talking about maybe segment that's in the a next minute. Show. Don't, I don't know. take anything from next segment. What about the last one? Remember when you were a kid and you got the packing snow? And I still out, do it. And you build a snowman uh -huh. and you build forts and you you dig holes in snow banks when the pack and the snow's not packing, and you come in. Only when you're frozen and your clothes is drenched. And, and you want mitts. a hot chocolate. Is that what you used to get <laughs> yeah. when you got home? <laughs> exactly. I used to get in trouble for being so wet. <laughs> <laughs> so even in the winter, there's lots of activities we can do. And we really want you to share because our list is not exhaustive. Our list is our list and the things that we've been able to experience. And so mm. let's do this thing together because as we journey together and as we actually tap into each other's brilliance, each other's experiences, we all get to have more fun both inside and outside. So I got a so challenge for you. I was going to have a challenge. I got a challenge for them. This right. weekend, this weekend, plan something fun, execute on it, and then send us a little email. How about a video? You want the to fun send us a outside. video? Yeah. Well, paste it on Facebook and tag, tag us. Decker team. Exactly. Yeah, that would be and good. And go have some fun this very weekend because we know we'll have way more fun if we do it now rather than delay. So thanks for joining us on the journey of wealth, wisdom, and a whole lot of fun. Moving forward with the Decker team. Moving forward.